Hi, this is John Stephen Gurney, and I thought it might be fun if I make some videos of me drawing some illustrations that are based on prompts. So I have right here envelopes with different um, different themes. So let's pick an animal. Let's see, it's gonna randomly pick which animal is gonna be the illustration. It looks like okay, so it's gonna be a cat. And what's the cat going to be doing? The cat is going to be swinging. Okay, the cat's going to be swinging. And how's the cat going to feel about swinging? Let's see. So, sad. Okay. I'm going to draw a sad cat swinging. So, I'm going to draw it on this good gray paper. But before we do that, I think I want to do some rough sketches first. I think it's always good to just really do some rough thumbnails to plan out your ideas. So I could make the cat swinging. What kind of, first, what kind of swinging? Is he swinging on a, a swing? Could be like that. Tails out the back. Is it this kind of swinging? Or swinging on a vine like Tarzan. And it's important just to really roughly plan out your ideas. Swinging on a vine. What other kind of swinging could there be? Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to try swinging on a swing. And it's a famous, I'm thinking of a famous kind of a Maxfield Parish illustration of a, I think it's got a girl on a swing, very joyful. Then I remember Bruce Wolf, the great illustrator, did a, like a, a variation on that where he had a big line um, on a swing, I think with, with an ice cream cone. But I think I'm gonna do the cat swinging. Now I'm ready, I'll do it on my good paper. And maybe I'll adjust the camera a little bit, make sure it's fitting nicely. So the swing is going to come down like this. It's going to be in the high arc. And see the butt's there. And holding on here. The head's going to be up there. But the tricky thing is, it looks like you'd be joyful if you're doing this, but the cat's going to be sad. And that sometimes make a, makes a fun illustration if, you know, something's different than what you expect. You expect the cat to be happy, but the cat's going to be sad. We don't know why. So I don't know. And I'm just doing real rough sketches here. Scribbly. Sad face. Back up there. Let me try to think now. How when you when you hold the swing, does your arm go? You're kind of inside between the two. I think that's. Um, now again, if this was a real illustration, I might pose. Like I'm actually on a swing, just or have someone pose just to see how that works. But I'm just gonna, I think I can do that all out of my imagination. So really roughly sketched in here. Now I'm gonna come in with a darker pencil. Cats always have kind of a triangular nose, a little triangle there. The mouth is coming down like this. And I'm working with a, this is a black Prismacolor pencil now, so it shows up nice and dark. Really sad. Eyes are kind of half closed. Huh. Should I make the eyes look straight ahead? Maybe looking back this way. This might be fun. Yeah, boy, that's so sad. Why is this cat sad? I don't know why. 
Don't you think he'd be happy if you're on a swing? Or maybe he was sad initially and he went on the swing to try to cheer himself up. And maybe it's not working yet. Maybe it'll work. I was going to do the paw here, but I don't want I don't want to draw too many details on the side of his head because I don't, the paw might be going in front. So I'm try and paw there. Get some fingers there, kind of holding the the rope. Shoulders over here. Now here's a good question. Does the cat have clothes on? I think not. So this is going to be just kind of a cat character that doesn't happen to have some, some animal characters have clothes on, sometimes not. Doesn't mean the cat is naked per se, just uh... I'm just not gonna drop this character with, he's got fur to keep him warm. And let's see the other hand, maybe you see the other hand over here a little bit. I'm not sure about how this is gonna go. Let's see down here. The leg comes up like this. It's always tricky when you're doing anthropomorphic animals. Like how much do you make it like a human foot? How much do you make it like a real animal foot? Because it's not exactly the way a real cat's foot would be. So this is kind of like the, the Warner Brothers tradition of halfway between human and animal. So in there, make a tail, so his tail's going back. Whee! Belly, shoulders there, it's kind of the other side of swing. Oh, now what kind of a swing is the cat on? Should be like a little curved. I'll make it a piece of kind of old fashioned wooden swing, the rope goes to the hole and kind of is tied and not at the other end. Okay, so I have things, the sketches are in pretty good, lines rather. How does this arm go? So maybe you see the other side of the shoulder there. Yeah, is that right? Some whiskers. I'm gonna get a sharper pencil now. Now I have things sketched in pretty good. I think I wanna start shading some more, so. Texture, a little bit of fur. Let's 
my head in the way? I need to move. lines up there. Should give him some, uh, some tiger stripes. Maybe it's a tabby. Now, let's get my white. Do I still have my white pencil here? You know, the good thing about working on gray paper is you can come in with white and add accents. So, like a little white snout, I guess you call it. Boy, this cat is so sad. Let me give him a white belly. White paws. Maybe white trim around the ears. And maybe these uh, ropes will be white. Some more shading. Do I have a little arch in there? I don't Working with these are, this actually isn't a colored pencil. This is a Karandash. It's kind of a water soluble pencil, but I'm not going to be using any wet medium with it. But I feel like it's so sad though. I feel like it needs a little contrast. So I think I'm going to make like a, a little bird here trying to cheer him up. So I'm doing a little light sketch here. Happy, happy little bird. Circle, circle. Bring this up like this. Okay, let me make that not dark. Maybe these two are friends. Would that be an idea for a story? The sad cat and the bird that tries to cheer him or her up. So maybe it was the whole, the bird's idea in the first place to cheer him up. Say, hey, go on the swing, that'll make you happy. Never do a bird flying with like a little feather flying off. Like, whoops. 
Put on a little light there, maybe light on the beak. A little more shading here. I should do a little more shading here. Little claws in the bottom. Yeah, I feel like his the paws should be white. Yeah, it's just all kind of refining and shading. I don't think we need this to go on for too long. I think I'm about ready to wrap it up. So that is uh, a sad cat swinging. So I'm going to do more of these illustrations from prompts. So I hope you'll check back and hopefully there'll be some more. Okay, thanks.